guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Megan from One Simple Girl. On today's video, I'm going to be using three new Morph palettes, or at least going over them with you. And I'm also going to be giving one lucky viewer the chance to get all of these. So stay tuned and see how you can win these. So let's jump right in it. Um, so like I had mentioned, I had picked up three new Morph palettes. Um, this one is Hot for Hue. And these are the colors, really pretty. The next one is Nine Extra, uh, sorry, Nine X Little Extra. And these are the colors in it, super, super pretty. And lastly, um, it's called Pretty in Peach. And this one, Again, super nice colors, and I accidentally scraped my nail on that one. Sorry about that. But they're going to get used anyway. Um, I actually haven't decided which one. They're so pretty, I can't decide. Like I said in the beginning of my intro, so I actually picked up two of each. So one for myself, and then I have three back here. And these will actually be the giveaways for the most um, engaged viewer on my channel. Um, so basically that's all you have to do. Um, you can like, comment on this video. Also follow me along on my other social media platforms, which is Instagram under One Simple Girl, and then also on Facebook, uh, One Simple Girl as well. So just the most engaged viewer, um, and that's it. That's all you have to do. It's really simple and you get three new palettes. So hopefully you enjoy them as much as I do. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna start with, uh, foundation cc cream I, I don't use a lot of foundation i use a lot of cc cream so it's just going to be my tart cc cream i've been using this for a long time um and you know me and my dotting all over my face okay so now to blend this all in i'm going to be using our one simple girl foundation brush and because my face is already prepped for this, I'm just going to go right into it and blend it in. And the reason why I do this, guys, I've mentioned it uh, every time on my channel, because some people do wonder why I do it this way. You can do it in sections. You can do it um, with a blending sponge. I use my foundation brush because it's really, really easy. Nothing gets on my hands. The bristles are super soft, so I don't feel like uh, I'm damaging my skin when I'm putting it on. I do this this way because I wanna make sure that whatever I'm putting on my face is very even. That's the last thing you want is when you see a big line, you know, through someone's hairline or underneath their jawline. Um, just be mindful of that, so Again, that's the reason why I do it. I just find it makes it really simple for me. I always, even though I'm using a CC cream and it's not a foundation, I still just kind of, you know, work it into the jawline under here so there is no line. I mean, you should be choosing a color that's pretty good for your skin tone to begin with, so you shouldn't have that issue. But again, I always make sure I'm, I'm even. Okay, so... We've done our, our base of our CC cream or your foundation, whichever one you want to use. Next, I'm going to use my bronzer. And to apply it, I'm just going to use our One Simple Girl. This is our blending brush. So it's similar to the powder. So these are, this is our powder brush. But our powder brush has a lot of movement in it for powder. Whereas our blending, there's not as much. So again, I'm just using the Tarte um, Park Avenue Princess. I'm still working on it, I really like it. When it's done, I may try something different. So for uh, my bronzer, I always start from my hairline and I bring it down. And then I always go whether you start at the top and work your way down or you do you know your cheekbone jawline for it doesn't matter it's whatever your preference is on the way you put it on 
So I always do, I basically do at like a number three, I guess you could say on my face. So I start, I always draw from the jawline down. I go from my, um, not quite the middle, but you know, uh, pretty well. And I work my way around here. I do my jawline and then I hit, sorry, uh, my cheekbone and then I hit my jawline and I come this way. So you're basically doing like a number three, if you can think of that on your face. So you just blend that in. That's what I love about this brush. That's why I chose this brush for this line because the way I put, um, you know what, whether or not you're using a cream based um, bronzer to put on, um, I use a powder. I, I'm just a preference. I, maybe that's because I'm a little bit more old school and I've been using it for so long, so I enjoy it. Um, but even if you're using a cream, the way this brush is made, it's made to be able to blend things in. So if you are using a cream or a powder, it works for either one. I also like to do just a little bit on, I, I don't do as much uh, critiquing on my face as some makeup artists do. Um, some will really draw out the line. They, they really chisel your, their face. I, I don't really go for that look. I like more of a sun-kissed, a little bit of a contour, kind of mix the two together. Still using the same brush, I just take my bronzer and I go on each side. I guess the reason why I can use a bigger brush, I mean, you can always use the One Simple Girl um, large eyeshadow brush. You could use this, I won't do it because it's clean and I want to be able to use my eyeshadow. You would just take your bronzer and you would follow down the lines. You could also use your bronzer and use the One Simple Girl small eyeshadow. Same thing. You would just take it, you know, follow that line down. Um, if, you know, if you were to do contouring around your lip, the small one would probably be the better one to do it. I don't go to all those lengths. I just add contour. Oh, I shouldn't even say contour. I don't even know if I feel like I'm really contouring more or less, um, I guess it's the, the slang way of doing a contour. It's lazy man's way of doing it. Okay, so we have our bronzer, we have our base. Now we wanna do some um, concealer. So I've really been loving the Tarte uh, Shape Tape. I also got in, I, I think I mentioned this on another video, I had bought in the Jones Road you know what, I have to say, this is a really good concealer. It's not as thick as the Tarte one, but man, does it ever hide like a blemish or, and the way it goes on, like you could just put this, you know, under your eye. I'll just do a little bit. And I can, I know it's kind of hard to see, but I can take my finger and just dot it lightly and it smears, like it blends in effortlessly so depending on your preference that's a really good um it's a really good product to try um so we're doing i'm just going to go with a little bit more more coverage today and that's it pop that on and my sponge is, I know it's sorry, it's dirty, but I have, I do use it. Um, it's already been damped, dampened, sorry. So I'm just going to blend in. I like to carry my concealer right on top of my eyelid. I know some people will do a separate, um, they'll do under here and then they put their concealer on top. I just blend it in. I just, I don't see why not. I don't see an issue with it. Again, if you're a makeup artist, maybe they would teach you to do something differently, but for the everyday Joe at home doing this, I say make your life a little bit easier. And just do it all at once. Again, when I'm putting this on, 
I'm not, when you're using a, um, a blending sponge, you don't want to drag this on your skin. All you need to do is that I'm just patting it. You just pat it. The, I don't want to say soak your sponge, but if it's a good dampness, it's going to move your, your concealer will just glide on your face. It's so great. It's the best way to do it. I don't suggest using a dry one. I think that would be a little bit hard on your skin. And I don't think your concealer would blend in as nice as you would like it to. Unfortunately. Now, because I did my bronzer or my contouring on my nose earlier with a bigger brush, I'm now streamlining it because I've added my concealer down here. And I always like to say to people, you know what, by the time you're done your makeup, you're not going to see any of those flaws. Like anything that you think, oh, you know, you can really see this and this is really white. You can always add bronzer, guys. You can always add... Um, a setting powder, you can add your bronzer, you can add blush in a certain area, and it, like everything will just come together. So don't panic about your makeup. Don't do not do that to yourself, it's not right. Okay, so while I'm gonna do my eyes, I'm gonna use a, this is just the Morph setting powder. So you could either use, I'm gonna use the One Simple Girl uh, powder brush, but you could also just use your sponge as well and it would work just as good. So I'm actually gonna put this, oops, that's a little, that's a bit much. Um, the nice thing about this is it's a setting powder, so even if you put too much on, you it just wipes away. So I'm really just gonna cover that, my eye area. I do put a little bit on my lid I'm okay with that. I will use my sponge now just to show you. So just, and you just pat it on. Nothing fancy guys. There is technique to some things when it comes to makeup, but at the same time, don't, don't get lost in the technique and um, not accomplish what you're trying to do. Okay. So we're gonna move on to our eyes. So like I said, I have these three new palettes. Um, I'm not really sure which one I wanna use. I feel like the peachy one is the one I use a lot of these colors. So I'm gonna say no to that one today. I'm really loving this. I guess this would have been their holiday one. Um, this one here, sorry, I guess I should show you. Just because it has this really bright red, which I never wear red. I just feel like this would be a really nice color. And then the other option was this one, but again, these are really summer colors and because it's still winter, I'm gonna, I'm gonna X on that one as well. Let's do the holiday one. Okay, so the nice thing about palettes when you buy them, I just wanted to point this out, I'll try not to get my mirror in it. They figured it out for you. You don't need to figure out what combo colors go together. They've done it for you here. So as you can see, they have a base. And then you just basically work your way through the colors. It goes from the lightest and it keeps getting darker and darker. So we're going to start with the base. And you can just grab that and put it on. And you just want to go all over your eye. You could also grab... Uh, I'll use the One Simple Girl Large. Just dab it, brush off the excess, or blow off the excess, sorry, and just put that all over your eye as well. So whether you use a finger, you use this, it doesn't matter, Just you just wanna get it on. Okay, so what I suggest using is the one Simple Girl, the smaller brush. I'll just compare the two so you guys can see a size. So there's the large and there's the small. If you're working in the crease of your eye, this is probably the better one. This is great for blending, but I can get in my crease and blend all in this one. So it can be done. I, I can use both or I can use one. So this one here is really good for being able to get in this part of your eye. 
because it's a little bit smaller, it's a little bit more detailed, it doesn't have as much bristle, so it's gonna stay in that little crevice for you. And I'm gonna use both so you'll know exactly how they work. Okay, so we're gonna start with, this one here has a little bit of a shimmer in it, so I wouldn't suggest putting that on quite yet. I'm gonna go with the, it's called Raise a Toast. So I'm gonna stick with some of the neutrals and then I'll kind of color, bring in some color. So again, just, just a couple dabs, blow off the excess. And the way I do it is I, probably didn't grab enough there, but I just kind of dab it along that line. Just like I, I do the same thing with my concealer and my cover. I just dab it on and then I do my windshield wiper motion. And then if I need to, I can do little circular motions to kind of blend it in more. But again, when you get to the blending, you can use this one. So for now, just, just dab it and work it in. When I do one eye, I always go do the next eye. Oops, I'm sorry, just hit my table. Um, I would suggest doing this. Some people might say, oh no, you can do one eye and then go on to the next. I, I don't recommend doing that. I feel like you're not going to get it exact. And if you're layering the colors like I am today, by the time you get done one eye and you go to do the next, you can't, because the layers have built up, you can't go back to your base layer or, you know, like your second color you put on and add more of that because it's really going to change the look of your eye. So I highly recommend just whatever you do to one eye, do to the other. I'm going to add a little bit more on this side. Like I said, see, if I would wait till the end and find out that I didn't have enough of this, this color on, it's really hard to change that. And you just, you just blend it in, guys. Just take your time, blend it in, and, and go from there. If you're uh, not a big makeup wearer, that's fine. You know what, you could put on this color, and then maybe add one more just to add a little bit of depth and that's it walk away for the day guys that's easy okay so my next color i already did this one this is my base and i put this one on i want to add a little bit of color before i go in with too dark of a color so we are going to try oh gosh there's so many to choose from i'm going to start with this light pink and then i think i might move over to these two colors so kind of you can kind of do two ways here. You can really stick with the reds, pinky kind of vibe going on here, or you can choose the darker ones. The darker ones are for me today, just because I'm, I'll am i be going into work and I'm not going on a date night. These I think are be a, a smidgen too dark for me today. So I'm gonna try to stick with the lighter colors here. And I really want to try out this red. So I really want to stick with that one. So again, we're just gonna grab that pink and see what happens here. I haven't tried these yet, so I'm really testing these out with you guys. Um, we'll see. I don't think I'm gonna have an issue with liking the colors. I, I know I'm gonna like the colors because I like them on the palette already. Um, but the combo I'm putting on today, I don't know if I'm gonna like them together. And that's the beauty of makeup, guys. Sometimes you do it and you love it, and then sometimes you go, yeah, I won't do that again. But that's how you learn. So I don't know, hopefully you guys can see, uh, I know my lighting is not the best in here, but how it's starting to build some color there. Okay, so the next one I'm going to do is probably this beautiful red one here. I'm just still using the same brush, but again, I started with a clean brush. So I'm going from lightest to darkest, which isn't going to wreck my eye makeup. But just keep that in mind, guys. Sometimes you have to, you don't need 50 different eye brushes. You just need maybe two of these ones, just so that if you are going back and forth between palettes, you kind of can keep one. Maybe the colors will stay the same with the one palette, and then the colors will stay the same with the other palette. Also, just, you know what? I usually wipe these down after every use. I don't necessarily clean them. I just take a paper towel and I go like this on it, try to clean the bristles as much as possible, 
and that's it. Then it just, it's a little bit of maintenance throughout, right? Okay, so let's get back to these. Oh my gosh, guys, seriously. That's right. I'm gonna stick more to this side of my eye. I don't want, I'm not bringing this one here. I'm just bringing it here. And now that I've put it on, sorry guys, I keep touching my table and it's shaking it. Use a little bit. Wow, that went on really, really good. That's the nice thing about Morph palettes. I find, you know what? It's an inexpensive way to get quality makeup because they're not crazy expensive, yet like I think I did two little dabs because I knew it was dark, but holy, this is, this is color, man. And again, it's a little bit much for me because I don't usually wear this. I don't ever wear red. Two dabs. This is two dabs and I just blew off the excess. Just to give you guys an idea. Okay, this is going to be a little tricky on this eye. I should really have a separate mirror instead of doing my makeup into my into my phone. This would have been a good Valentine's Day color, that's for sure. Oh, wow. Again, it looks scary because I haven't blended it in perfectly, perfectly, and I don't have any mascara on. Guys, it will get better. You just have to work through the process. Okay, so I'm just... Uh, <laughs> it makes me laugh because I don't usually wear this color. What I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to take a little bit of that same red. Maybe one dab. Maybe not even a dab. I'm going to... I'm just gonna bring it under my eye here. I find, I don't, I never wear eyeliner under my eye. I find that a way too harsh looking for me. Um, but if you take some of your shadow that you're wearing, there, and I put very little on, but you can already see, sorry for the close up, but you can see that line and there's just, you can see the difference between here and here. I feel like that really finishes your eyes. It kind of um, ties everything in. And again, because I'm not wearing any eyeliner down there, it just really helps finish the eye look. Yeah, it's really pretty actually. Okay, so I'm going to move on. Okay, what are we gonna do next? Oh, that pink is really pretty. So this middle pink one, I know it's hard to see guys, sorry. This one here, there. There you go. See how it, these two have shimmers? I think we're going to use this one. And I do want to add mm, a little bit of darkness. I don't know which darkness I'm going to go for. I think I'm going to go with this one here in the corner. Just to help give some depth. Okay, so now, sorry guys, I moved on to the large one simple girl brush. And again, this was clean, so I'm just adding on fresh... fresh uh, shadow to this one. Oh, that's pretty. I didn't bring it right across my eyelid. And then all I'm gonna do is, see how I'm just, I take, I, so I hit the, the crease and I just go like this. It's the same thing as if you were to blend it, but instead of it, having like just a like a solid line here I just kind of want to bring it up a little bit I don't think it's a secret I think it's something people have done for probably a long time but that's how I do it so I don't have that weird line sitting like here I like it to kind of look like it's blended in so like I said I wanted to use that sparkle color I just wanted to add some darkness I'm actually going to add a tiny bit of that darkness under. Just to help tie in the other, tie in the colors from the top to the bottom. Okay, so then this beautiful sparkle color, I'm actually going to put it on the lid. 
and I'm, oh my gosh, guys, seriously. I know this is hard to see, but look at that color. <gasps> so pretty. And as you can see, I'm just using my finger. I'm just gonna use my finger to put it on. Sometimes it's just easier. Oh my God, that's so pretty. Oh my God. Okay, and then I actually wanna add a little tiny bit of, oh sorry, this one here. This one is another one that has that shimmer in it. And I wanna add it right in the corner. It just toned, so if you can compare the two, it toned down the corner, if you can see that, really nicely. So it really helped blend in that color so it's not so, so pink right there. It still has that pink shimmer, but it has that gold that's just going to tone it down a bit. And I could always use my brush to do this for sure. Oh, I think I put more on this side than the other side. So I'm just going to add a little bit more on this side. There we go. Oh my God, that's really pretty. Damn, I'm good. Kidding. Okay, so we've done our eye makeup. I'm just going to take my little brush because remember how I put my setting powder under here? I'm just going to do a little wipey wipe. So if there was any fallout from here, and I have to say, I'm really impressed with Morph palettes. They don't have a lot of fallout from them. They're pretty uh, condensed powders. I just uh, give it an extra wipe just in case. Hey man, that's pretty good. So, so far I've only used a foundation brush, um, my large, my small, um, my powder, and my blending brush. So. That's two, four, five brushes so far. So my next one I'm going to use is our one, oh, sorry, I'll hold it this way so you can see it. One Simple Girl. Um, this is the angled brush. So you can use it for your highlighter. You can use it for your, you can use it for your bronzer. You can use it for your blush. I'm going to use it for my blush today. And today I have two. So this is a kit that I got from um, Tarte. I'll just open them up so I can show them to you. And I think I'm going to have to go with the more pinky one because my eyes are so pink today. And I have been using them. So this is the one. This is the pink one. So it's really cool. It just folds up like that. And there you go. You have three powders. Um, this is the other one that I have that I've been using. And again, this one's got a lot more um, neutral, earthy tones kind of. So I don't think that's going to be the winner today because... I feel like when I do my eye makeup, um, I just, I wanna tie everything in. So I'm not gonna wear a peach blush with red and pink eye makeup. I just, I try to match everything so it kinda goes nicely. Um, I'm probably gonna use a combo of these two today. I, I mix my, I mix my blushes all the time. Uh, and I just work it up the color I like and I work it up into my temple into my hairline so you don't you don't see any cutoffs or anything like that and the nice thing about this brush is that when I do here or if I was to pull it this way it's already angled it has a really nice slender um, a slender more slender head on it opposed to like a blending or the powder brush itself, right? So a powder brush is gonna be, it's gonna cover a lot more space and I don't really want it to do that for my blush. I just want it to be in one spot and that's it. So I usually like to, although I've put bronzer to tie in my face, 
I like to take my blush and just kind of mix it around on my face so that it just gives the illusion of a very balanced looking face. You don't have like just pink here, pink here, bronzer. Like I like to just blend everything in so it's really, really pretty. Um, I know for my eyes today, I actually went much darker than I would normally have gone. I'm um, just going to take my large brush, eye brush again, and I'm just blending out the top. And after I do that, I just, all I did was wipe it like that. And then I took it and I went underneath. Cause any of the excess that's on this brush from, from what I've just done, just use it. Like it's there. Okay. So we've got eyes done, blush done. I probably could have went a little bit heavier on my blush. Um, but again, I think that's pretty good. Sorry, my lighting is really bad in here. I've just kind of rearranged this room, so it's a little bit, uh, it's not the greatest, but that's okay. Um, before I do my mascara, mascara is probably the last thing I ever do in my lips is I do my eyebrows. So if you do not fill in your eyebrows, that's fine. What I highly recommend is just getting a little tool like this. This one came with, um, my the the stuff that I used to fill them in so I didn't I don't need an extra tool it's just it came with it right and most do um, and just brush it out you can spray a little bit of hairspray and comb it out that way and then they'll stay um, I just use it to brush mine out I am actually using the uh, sorry brow micro filling pen and this is just from benefit um, it's supposed to give you, see if you can see the top on it, it's supposed to try and give you like that microblading look to it. Um, I don't find it does that whatsoever, um, but it does fill it in nicely. It's definitely not something that's super heavy. Um, but it does a good job. I don't mind. It's not as heavy as some of my other products that I would use to fill it in, but you could already see a little bit of a difference in the, in my eyebrows. So I'm doing my best, I'm in, a, in my phone doing my makeup and my eyebrows, so bear with me guys if it's... Um, what you can do afterwards too is still go back to that little tool if you have one and just comb them out again just to help blend in. I feel like I got a spot here. I probably did because I can't really, this lighting on my left side is absolutely terrible. I've got a window on this side, so I have beautiful light coming in here, but then I, I have nothing on this side. Well, that'll teach me, won't it? I'm just gonna add a little bit more there. You know what I do not, uh, the one thing I wish I was better at is my brows. I don't have good brows. And when I grew up, the whole uh, fad was the thinner, the better. So of course we all plucked our eyebrows and they don't grow back in as nicely as they wanted to when you've plucked them for 10 years. So this is what I deal with. Okay, so, oh, sorry, I should tell you, it's um, using the uh, Lights Camera Lashes from Tarte, their mascara. I just love it. It's just my preference. I use a lot of Tarte line. I just like their products. I like that a lot of it is vegan. Um, I know Hourglass has a lot of vegan products too. Um, my, I think my biggest concern is every time I decide, okay, that's it, I'm gonna try something new. I go and I try it and I spend the money and then I hate it. Um, or it's just not my favorite product, right? So I had recently bought I don't have it here with me at the moment, but I bought a Chanel eyebrow kit, and which was not cheap by no means. And I do like it, but I didn't love it. And for the price, I was a little, you know, it was a little disheartening to spend that kind of money on it. Um, you're definitely spending it for the name brand for sure, because Benefit was originally the one that I had they discontinued the one I used to buy and it was half the price. 
So you're definitely buying um, somebody's name for sure. I think that's why it was such a big deal to me when I designed my makeup brushes. If you were gonna do that, don't, you know what, don't, uh, I, I didn't charge, um, like for my whole kit, you're looking under $70, which is really, really good for six brushes. You go anywhere else and you're paying 90 plus or 80 plus, and you're paying for packaging and you're paying for a name. Whereas I kept uh, my packaging very simple on my brushes and affordable because I want everybody to be able to afford them. I want the girl next door, the guy next door, whoever you are, I want you to be able to afford them and use them. And I want them to be good quality brushes. So you're not purchasing fancy, um, a fancy logo box off me you're just purchasing the brushes themselves so that's a key don't think just because it's expensive it's better um okay so i think i've pretty well done my face the only thing i'm missing is my lips um i'm not gonna fill them in because i'm not a big filler in her i'm a big chapstick kind of person um, but i am gonna wear a color today because i have eye makeup on and this is just a really it's just a gloss and it's a light pink and that's it that's it that's all so i think i think it turned out okay it's okay guys there's always things room for improvement but today i just really really wanted to try out um this new palette sorry this uh 9x little extra one and uh, i'm pretty excited about it so it's pretty cool i think there's a lot more um, i can do with it i really like the the sparkle and this light pink i think these three would be a really great combo to put together so maybe on my next video i do that or i'll probably try it out um the next time i'm doing my makeup um then this one again i just want to recap on these these stunning colors like isn't this a great summer color oh my god Listen to me. Oh my God. Sound like I'm uh, I don't know, but, and then this peach one, I feel like this peachy one is a really good, uh, palette for just anybody starting with makeup. Like they're really, although they're pink, there is a couple of neutral colors at the top here. Um, this one's a little pinky neutral, but you could really you could add this. I feel like anybody could get away with this color. Maybe if you had green eyes, it's a little bit trickier, um, but for blue or brown, this would be really pretty on you. Um, okay, so like I said again, here's the three um, palettes. Again, I bought two of each, so I kept one each for myself and I kept one each for one lucky viewer who gets to win them. And you're gonna win the whole thing. You get to win three palettes. So just be the most engaged person um follow me on instagram facebook and of course like and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys next time on my next channel or sorry on my next video hopefully this was a little insightful for you and you enjoyed it and uh have a great day bye guys